Hey, Shubi Doodlers, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to draw an old fashioned kitchen table. In step one, I'm going to show you how to plan it out in pencil. In step two, we'll draw in the outlines in ink. Step three, we'll erase all those pencil lines so no one will know how clever you were drawing it. And in step four, I'll show you how to do all the twiddly bits which will make it look much more interesting. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. So you need to kind of work out where you want your table and we are going to be drawing parallelograms, lots of parallelograms. So I'm going to start planning this out in pencil and draw very gently. Don't press hard because we're going to erase these pencil lines later. Um, and if you press too hard, it's, you can find it really difficult to erase the lines. Now these are kind of in lines and we want to draw kind of another parallelogram right inside. Um, and this is not quite so easy. And we want the thickness to be the same all the way around. So this is kind of the plan of the underneath of the top of the table. And from there, we can draw a line going down vertically and down vertically like that and going down vertically and we want another one here as well and what we're going to do is draw another parallelogram and just moving this so it fits nicely in the camera we're going to run parallel to this line so we're drawing another parallelogram there parallel here again starting from the bottom where that was so the more the more accurate you can be the, the more accurate the drawing will look now we want to draw another I'm parallel to that, just going across there, which will join up with this vertical line coming down there. And then we'll join up those two lines there. So these will be the legs and this is the top. In step two, we can start drawing the outlines. And what we're gonna do is just these two lines here at the front first. So we'll draw that one first and that one, no more, okay? <laughs> So the thickness of the table is going to be kind of like about that. So we draw these little lines going up and we can draw that across there and that coming down there like that. Then you can get your pencil if you want and draw another line like that. So this is going to be the table top, like that. And then we can draw the legs. So what we'll do first is a straight line down like that. Another one next to it. And that will stop on this line here. And then another one next to it equal, which will stop on the line there, which means you can draw like a little V shape at the bottom, which kind of places it on the floor. Here, uh, I'm not sure that's going entirely vertical. Let's take it down like that, and then that's going off there. Um, I'm going to bring that line down like that. I'll draw one line next to it, the same thickness as we're drawing over there, and join them together along that line. Stop. Okay, now come over to here, and then we will come down to that point down to there again so that we're along this line here the same thickness as this one and then join them together now we've got these sort of boards underneath here so this is going to start around about there and we'll draw this parallel and stop just short of that line and then we will go up in there because that's a kind of a mortise and tenon joint there and then this will be starting around about here going parallel across stop just short and then go up like that if you get stuck at any moment you can replay this video as many times as you like it won't wear out and you're not being charged for it either so stop and replay anytime you like now here we can do that go across so this is actually sort of parallel with these lines and that will go up just slightly underneath hmm. and we've got the same thing going on here we want to be going parallel there so there's a short little 
bit sticking out like that and that will go up and it'll be going underneath that board now at the back here you can imagine that we've got this sort of thickness of the the, the table coming down there so in fact at the bottom here we want a little kind of square so we're going to see something like that there so we'll see that down and across and up across and up like that and that's all you're going to see of that back leg if you've watched this far you must love drawing so click that button and make sure you're subscribed to the shoe rainer drawing channel for lots more drawings every week and why not join me on my live drawing channel too click the links and check the comments box below step three when you're absolutely sure that the ink is dry you can erase those pencil lines and then no one will know how you came to draw so accurately now what we can do here is put in a draw so let's draw come down there and round about there not quite down to the bottom sort of an old farmhouse kitchen table and then we're going to want to put a little uh, not quite a circle more of an oval really and another one behind it and we can just put a little curve in there and that'll be the knob for the handle to pull it out i'm going to assume that the light is sort of coming this direction so i'm going to put a little bit of shade going down there and a little bit of shade at an angle down there and maybe a bit more on the door handle draw handle there maybe have a little bit of shade there not doing too much really just something just to kind of add a little bit of three dimension to it um, and we can imagine this is made of maybe three large wide boards and we can draw these kind of rambling kind of like river sort of shapes for the wood effect on the top like that and then we can maybe have some on the side panels there going through on the drawer and maybe there'd be something on the legs so draw that in very lightly the lighter you hold the pen the lighter that will look and then i'm just going to put some little kind of streaks of shadow on the feet like that not a huge amount of shadow just to kind of place it on the ground so you probably want to color it in a wood sort of color so all the shadows will be on the planes that are really facing us and there you go how to draw an old kitchen table thanks for watching and keep coming back to the shoe Rainer drawing channel uh, for more drawings every monday and friday four o'clock uk time in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye